You rang, senora. Who let this woman in the theater? What woman, senora? Her. I see no one, senora. That woman there. Uh, begging your pardon, senora. There are just the two of us. There is no one else in the room. Although I join thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning, which doth cease to be ere one can say it lightens. Oh. I am Juliet. Her spirit fills me. The words before leaving my lips seem to pass through the warmth of my blood. But did you love me? I saw a woman triumphant in a man's world. I could escape the life I lived. I would think like a man in a man's world. I would hold my life in my own hands. You understood me. I knew then that I could overcome any obstacle. Nothing could stop me. I would change the art of the theater. Senora Dosa, what are your impressions in New York? I do not give interviews. Do you think our audiences have the same sophistication as those in Europe? They have great enthusiasm. Mm. Ma'am, do you plan on visiting our famous Niagara Falls? Why do you persist in asking these absurd questions? Well, the public wants to know about you. If they want to know about me, they must come to the theater. Mm. All that I am is there. Mm. Is it true you're the mistress of the Italian poet Gabriele de Annunzio? You have no right to ask me about my private life. What do you think of our Wild West, Madam Sarah? Oh, I adore your cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> what is your opinion of the French actress Sarah Bernhardt? Why do you care what I think of her? Ah, oh, the public is fascinated by the Battle of the Divas. The public should have better things to think about. <laughs> You seem distracted, my love. What's wrong with me? I can't seem to enjoy life. Here I am, in this beautiful place. I am with you. And already my mind is filled with plans for my next production, my next tour. I don't know how to be happy. Not even when you're on stage? Moments, when I'm in the right play. But most of the plays I perform in are mediocre and trite, and Every time I am in one of them, <coughs> something within me dies. Don't you take pleasure in the men who adore you, write you poetry, throw themselves at your feet? Our lovers neither protected nor consoled us. That's true. My, my son Maurice was my consolation. Children are such a comfort. I'm not sure about that. Do you have children? Yes, I have a daughter, but we don't see each other often. It's better that way. Better? She must be proud of you. I don't think so. I don't allow her to see me on stage. Why ever not? I don't want her to have anything to do with the theater. It's a horrible place. I know. But it is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Bernhardt has said I should come to Paris. What a noble soul the divine Sarah has. I do not think this is a good idea. We cannot refuse. I couldn't refuse. I think we should take this opportunity to learn more about one another. Of course. I'm told you've had not any academic training in the art of acting. Oh, that is correct, madame. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary. Perhaps your country does not have any theatrical academies. Oh. Uh, Italy has several academies, but I have no use for such institutions. They are useless. Worse than useless, they teach bad habits. Do they now? How then did you learn your acting skills? My parents taught me the trade. Oh, charming. What a joyful childhood you must have had. My earliest memories are being hungry and cold. Mm. I don't remember much joy. Not even when you were on stage. 
When I was four, I made my debut as Cosette in Les Miserables. Just before I made my entrance, one of the actors beat my legs with a strap to make me cry. I was shoved onto the stage, tears pouring from my eyes. Well, you learn the most important lesson in acting, how to make a dramatic entrance. <laughs> what I learned is that acting is to suffer. And I have signed a contract. Oh! And Sarah will perform the Dead City next year. Are you sleeping with that woman? Is that what this is about? Infidelity gives love an intoxicating novel. You gave away your heart for a night of running! That night in Paris, the mob saw an actress playing in a style they were unaccustomed to. They, they didn't understand what you were doing. They didn't understand what they were seeing. But I understood. I saw a new way of acting, simple, unadorned, more natural than anything I had ever experienced on the stage before. Do they still speak of me, Eleonora? They will always speak of you. <laughs> will I be remembered as a figure in a frozen pose on an old theatrical poster? Well, how we are remembered is not important. The past doesn't exist. Neither does the future. Now is all there is, the present instant, the moment of creation. Our work vanishes in that instant of creation. 